हेलो स्टूडेंट हाउ आर यू आई एम अरुण सर वेलकम टू माय चैनल ट्यूशन एक्सपर्ट टुडेज क्लास इज इन ऑन सेंटर ऑफ मास एंड कंजर्वेशन ऑफ मोमेंटम स्टूडेंट इफ यू वॉच माय वीडियो रेगुलरली एंड फॉलो माय क्लास अटेंडिवली देन आई कैन एश्योर यू दैट यू मस्ट क्रैक द आई एग्जाम एंड नीट एग्जाम कॉन्फिडेंटली विथ ए गुड रैंक नाउ लेट्स स्टार्ट ऑफ द क्लास सेंटर ऑफ मास एंड कंजर्वेशन ऑफ मोमेंटम फास्ट वी डिफाइन वॉट इज सेंटर ऑफ मास वॉट इज सेंटर ऑफ मास सपोज This is a ball. It placed on a ground. Now we know that if the a force is applied horizontally along the center of the ball, then it moves horizontally. Then it moves with parallel to the ground. That is, it moves horizontally. So center of mass. Fine. It is a point. It is a point of a body at which at which force. Applied produces the translation motion, which produces the translation motion of the body. Translation motion that is this this way. So every particle moves in this way. So if the force is applied along the center of mass. Through the center of mass, that is line of action of force passes through the center of mass. Then uh, a translation motion is produced. Force action of the force passes through the center of mass. Then the translation motion of the body is produced. Now, if the force is applied not on center of mass, what happens? If the force suppose this is a ball and force is applied at this position, this is not center of mass. Then what happens? It will moves. Horizontally, it will moves. That is translation motion along with a rotational motion produced. Rotational motion means it it moves like this way. Translation motion and rotational motion produced. So, if the force is applied on a point, the force is applied except center of mass, then rotational motion and translation motion both produced. So, if force is applied only through the center of mass then translation motion is produced the uh, triangular lamina is present on the plane of the ground now if force is applied along a center of mass suppose center of mass is a point here here is a center of mass so if the force is applied along this way then it moves it then only the translation motion is produced but if the force is applied at here then it will rotate that is it will rotate and move and translation motion both both will produce what is center of mass of system of particle particle suppose here so for regular body for regular body center of mass is is the its is the is its center of geometry that is geometrical center of the body is center of mass geometrical center suppose sphere its geometrical center is its center so this is the center of mass suppose a rectangular block its geometrical center is intersection of the diagonal so this is center of mass and If an equilateral triangle is considered, then center of mass is centroid. Centroid, centroid. What is centroid? Centroid means what? Median intersect. Median intersect. This is median. This is median. So intersection of the median is centroid. So for a uh, triangular lamina, triangular lamina center of mass is its centroid. So geometrical center of regular body center of mass. For system of particle, suppose here m one x coordinate y coordinate m one whose coordinate is x one y one m two whose coordinate x two y two and m three whose coordinate is x three y three. Suppose three mass is present, three mass is present whose position or coordinate is given. Then what is center of mass? 
what is the position of or coordinate of center of mass of the system if we connect the three mass by light string if we connect the three mass by light string then this will form a system and if a suppose center of mass is here if a force is applied on the on this way if its force is applied on this way then it moves with it moves translation it moves horizontal uh, then translation motion is produced of the system now we have to find the center of mass of the system so here coordinates of center of mass if x and y then x will be m1 x1 plus m2 x2 plus m3 x3 by total mass total mass that is if for n number of particles is present then x equal to m1 x1 plus dot 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 plus mn xn by total mass of the system m1 plus mn so for n number of particles center of uh, x coordinate of center of mass is defined as this here total mass of the system is concentrated at that point so total uh, uh, mass of the center of mass is considered total mass of the system total mass of the system this is mass of the center of mass plus into x coordinate will be that this is mass movement this is called mass movement mass into distance is called mass movement so mass movement about the origin mass movement of the center of mass about the origin will be equal to mass movement of individual particle m uh, about the origin m1 x1 plus m2 x2 like this way we get x equal to this x equal to this by center of mass uh, this divided by mass of the center of mass now mass of the center of mass means this is this is the mass of the center of mass so this way we get this to find the x coordinate of center of mass we take the mass movement of the center of mass is equal to mass movement of each particle about the origin similarly for y coordinate we get m cm into y mass movement of y coordinate equal to mass movement of of each system of this so from this we get y is given suppose here a mass m2 is present and a position vector r2 is this mass m1 whose position vector is r1 mass m2 whose position vector is r2 now what is the center of uh, what is the position vector of the center of mass if r is the if you if you define r is the cent, position vector of center of mass suppose center of mass is here here m1 plus m2 is present this is center of mass center of mass means here total mass of the system is concentrated at that point concentrated at that point so about origin m1 plus m2 of r vector equal to m1 r1 vector plus m2 r2 vector this is the principle so r vector equal to m1 r1 divided by m1 plus m2 now if r1 equal to we know if the coordinate is x1 y1 and coordinate is x2 y2 then what what is the r1 r1 is r1 is x1 i plus y1 j again r2 is again r2 is m2 x2 i plus y2 j divided by m1 plus m2 m1 plus m2 okay now if we uh, r equal to r equal to xi r what is r r equal to xi plus yj which is equal to m1 x1 plus m2 x2 i divided by m1 plus m2 plus m1 y1 plus m2 y2 divide m1 plus m2 into j vector so if we equate both side i and I, we can write x equal to this equating coefficient of i on both side x equal to m1 x1 m2 y equal to m1 y1 plus m2 y2 by m1 plus m2 we get x and y from this 
identity from this equation equal mass of two mass system two mass two mass separated by separated by a distance r so suppose this is two mass m1 m2 separated by distance r now what is the position of the center of mass suppose if m2 is more then center of mass shift in this way is m1 is more then center of mass is shift shift in this way this is middle suppose this is midpoint if this is the midpoint if m2 is more then center of mass shifted in in this direction and if m1 is more then center of mass shift in this direction let's the center of mass is it at here m2 greater than suppose m1 this is a midpoint center of mass is at here now what is the if distance between two mass is r r and center of mass is center of mass is at, at this point this is r1 and this is r2 so we r1 plus r2 equal to r and mass moment about the center of mass is equal that is m1 r1 equal to m2 r2 so m1 r1 equal to m2 r2 means r minus r1 r minus r1 so r1 take common r1 m1 plus m2 So this is the r1 this is the position so if two mass separated by distance r then position of center mass from m1 will be this this for solving the problem this formula also required now if xy system we can we can find this r1 by the formula m1 x1 plus m2 x2 what have i written if this is x axis another way this is x axis and this is a y axis so this is taken as 0 0 this is origin now what is the position of m2 m2 the position is r comma 0 so if center uh, say, uh, coordinate of center of mass r equal to m1 0 plus m2 into r by m1 plus m2 in this way we get r equal to this this and this same okay position vector of the center of mass r c o m center mass equal to m1 r1 plus m2 r2 by m1 plus m2 now rcm means rcm uh, now velocity to find the velocity velocity of center of mass so we did uh, we define set of r with respect to t then okay by m1 plus m2 so this is velocity of center of mass this equal to m1 v1 plus m2 v2 by m1 plus m2 and if we from x x or x y x y component is present so v c m can be written as v x i this is center of mass of x coordinate v c m of x coordinate plus v c m of y y component vcom of x component vcom of this is x component of vcom this is y component of vcom ij equal to m1 m1 v1 v1 x i plus v1 y y j plus m2 v2 x i plus v2 y j divided by m1 plus m2 divided by m1 plus m2 now if we separate i and j if we separate then we get x component of vcm equal to m1 v1 plus m2 v2 by m1 plus m2 again y component of vcm equal to m1 v1 plus m2 v2 by so v1 x m v2 x v1 y y by m1 plus m2 this way we get generally we get we are generally we can write this from this we get x and y x component of velocity of center of mass y component of center uh, velocity of center of mass from this we get this and this okay if we double different set of r we get acceleration acceleration equal to m1 a1 plus acceleration of center mass 
प्लस एम टू ए टू बाय एम वन प्लस एम टू तो फ्रॉम दिस वी गेट एक्स कम एक्स कंपोनेंट ऑफ एक्सेलरेशन एम वन ए वन एक्स प्लस एम टू ए टू एक्स बाय एम वन प्लस एम टू एम वन प्लस एम टू एंड एस एम ऑफ वाई कंपोनेंट इक्वल टू एम वन ए वन वाई एम वन ए वन वाई प्लस एम टू ए टू वाई बाय एम वन प्लस एम टू सो दिस इज दिस इज द एक्स कंपोनेंट ऑफ एक्सेलेशन ऑफ सेंट्रल मास दिस इज द वाई कंपोनेंट ऑफ एक्सेलेशन ऑफ सेंट्रल मास फर्स्ट आई फाइंड फॉर रेगुलर सेप दिस इज एट के जी एट के जी ब्लॉक एंड दिस इज सिक्स के जी ब्लॉक फॉर्म ए एल सेफ बॉडी फॉर्म ए एल सेफ फॉर्म ए एल सेफ द एट मीटर लेंथ दिस लेंथ इज एट मीटर दिस लेंथ इज सिक्स मीटर सिक्स मीटर दिस लेंथ इज टू मीटर टू मीटर दिस इज टू मीटर सो टू ब्लॉक्स ऑफ एट के जी सिक्स के जी फॉर्म ए एल सेफ डायमेंशन गिविन वॉट इज द What is the position of center of mass of the system? What is the position of? Okay. How can we solve this problem? I have told that center of mass of the regular body is its geometrical center. I have told. So first we find the center of mass of the of this block. Its geometrical center. If we consider x and y along this and this so this is origin now center of mass of this block is at is x is the center of geometrical center so this coordinate is 4 x coordinate and y coordinate is this this is 1 so coordinate of this point is 4 comma 4 comma 1 this is x coordinate and this is y coordinate and center center of mass of 6 kg block is at here whose x coordinate is this 1 because this is this distance is x coordinate which is 1 because this is 2 meter so half is 1 and y coordinate is this is uh, 6 meter so this is 3 3 plus 2 5 so y coordinate is 5 first we uh, so here we consider 6 here we consider 8 kg block is present and here we consider 6 kg block is present so m1 equal to 8 kg whose coordinate is given 4 comma 1 and m2 here 6 kg is present m2 equal to 6 whose coordinate x2 y2 equal to 1 comma 5 now what is the position of center of mass x y coordinate is x coordinate equal to m1 x1 with the formula with the help of this formula with the help of this formula we can write this so m1 equal to 8 8 into 4 plus 6 into 1 divided by 8 plus 6 so this is 32 plus 38 by 14 which is 7 and y coordinate is m1 y1 m1 8 into y1 1 plus m2 6 into 5 by 8 plus 6 38 by 14 That is, it is actually fourteen. I have this. Have this fourteen. So this is the coordinate. Since this coordinate reach, we get and thirty kg are placed at the vertex of an equilateral triangle whose height is ten meter. Ten meter. Ten meter. So. Suppose ten kg, twenty kg, and thirty kg masses are placed on the vertex of an equilateral triangle whose side is ten meter. What is the position of center of mass? What is the position of center of mass? So here coordinate is not given. So first we take x-axis and y-axis along this way, along this direction. This is x-axis along the side, this side, and y-axis uh, perpendicular to this side. This is x-axis, y-axis. Now, what is the coordinate of this? This coordinate will be zero comma zero. This is origin, and this coordinate will be ten. X coordinate ten, y coordinate zero. 
and what is the x coordinate? x coordinate is here 5 and y coordinate is height. So, 5 comma height. What is height? Height is equal to root 3a by 2 which is equal to 10 by 2 that is 5 root 3. So, we get the coordinate of each mass. Now, apply this theory x1 equal to x coordinate equal to m1 x1. Okay. Now, we apply this theory m1 x1 plus m2 x2 this. Now, what is m1? m1 equal to 10 kg 10 into 0 plus plus m2 m2 is 20 plus m3 m3 is 30 into x3 x3 is 5 divided by m1 plus m2 plus m3 m1 plus m2 10 plus 20 plus 30 which is equal to 200 plus 150 350 divided by 60. So, this is the answer 35 by 6. Similarly, we get y coordinate y coordinate equal to m1 10 into 0 plus m2 20 into 0 plus m3 30 into 5 root 3 divided by divided by 60 60 that is 150 root 3 by 60. So, this is the y coordinate. This is the y coordinate. So, we get x coordinate and y coordinate in this way. Okay. Now, for this type of problem, suppose this is a disk. For this type of problem, how can we find the center of mass of the remaining part? Suppose this is a disk of mass m and radius r. Okay. Now, now a portion of radius r by 2 is cut. Suppose a portion of radius r by 2, this is center, center of the disk. Now, a portion of radius r by 2, this, this, this radius is r by 2, this radius is r by 2, this radius is r by 2, r by 2 is, this portion is removed from the disk. What is the center mass of the remaining portion? What is the center of mass of remaining portion? What is the center of mass of the remaining portion? Now, I discuss about the best method. I discuss about the best method, how to find the center of mass of the remaining part, of the remaining part. Now, first find the mass of this removed portion. Mass of removed portion, first find. Mass of removed portion. So, here you are given that the disk is uniform. So, if disk is uniform, then mass is distributed area wise that is per unit area mass is same throughout the disk per unit area mass is same throughout the disk so what is the mass per unit area mass per unit area of disk what this is mass divided by pi i r square mass per unit area of the disk is this now what is the area of this part area of removed part equal to what pi into r by 2 whole square this now what is the mass of the removed part mass of removed part equal to mass per unit area into area of this removed part mass per unit area suppose mass per unit area is this into into area of the uh, this part area of this part so this will is the uh, this is the mass of the removed of removed part that is m by 4 so first find the mass of the removed part first find the mass of the removed part now what is the mass of this system mass of the so mass of rem, um, mass of remaining part remaining part will be m minus m by 4 which is 3 m by 4 now take it is at m1 suppose this is m1 and this part is m2 now this is removed part that is this is hollow portion so important point is that take this mass is as negative mass 
I am discussing about the best method. So, if you take this is the negative mass, take this is the negative mass. Now, consider the whole mass is suppose M1. Now, M1, if you take M1 equal to whole mass of the disc, if you take M1 equal to mass of the whole disc, which is M and M2 is minus M by 4, then m minus m by 4 will be tm by 4 that is mass of the remaining part center of mass what is the center of mass of the two part we don't know the center of mass of the remaining part we don't know the center of mass of the remaining part suppose center of mass of the remaining part is this x direction is at x from the from this point from the center so here we have to find the x what is x we know x o m equal to m1 x1 plus m2 x2 by m1 plus m2 if if the whole mass is m and m2 equal to minus m by 4 then we can find center mass of the remaining part because if we take whole mass is positive and is, here is a negative part then that this part will be empty so now this form a remaining part what is the center mass of the center mass of the negative part center of mass of the negative part will be suppose this is m1 is x2 that is minus r by 2 this is r by 2 comma 0 now put here m1 equal to m into 0 plus m2 minus m by 4 into x2 x2 equal to r by 2 divided by two, m1 equal to m minus m by 4. So, this equal to minus r by 8 by 3 m by 4 t m t by 4 which is equal to minus So, position of center of mass is, is left side from the center x, x is equal to r by 6 x equal to r by 6 this is the answer. If no external force external force is applied this is important theory important theory if no external force is applied on the system of system of particle or bodies then angular momentum then total if no external force is applied on the system of particle or bodies then then center of mass cm center of mass of the system system remain constant remain constant that is center position of that is position of center of mass center of mass remain same position of center of mass remain same of the system of particles if no external force is applied so this is the best important theory from this theory we solve we can solve many problem so this is the important theory now what is the problem related to this theory suppose this is a smooth ground suppose this is a smooth ground and a plank of mass m is placed on the smooth ground and a man of mass m is at stand on one end of the plank mass of the man is m now if the ma if the man moves from this end to this end then what is the shift or displacement of the plank what is the displacement of the plank when man goes from the end a to b this is the problem okay i repeat the problem once again a plank of ma capital mass m is placed on smooth ground now a man of mass m is 
stand at one end of the plank if the man goes from the end a to the end b then what is the displacement of the plank of this plank what is the displacement of this plank so solution of this problem we apply this theory now when the man suppose this man moves from this end to this end this end and the shift of the plank is this way given l is the length of the plank l of, a, l is the length of the plank is given so here m l m r given given you have to find the find displacement of plank plank when the man goes from a to b now this is end a this is end a this is b and now man is at this end a man is at this end so what is the shift of the plank now the plank the a will shift end a shift x we have to find the x the previous theory that is center of mass at initial equal to center of mass at final position we apply this theory now what is the center of mass of the initial position here the coordinate of mass is suppose this is x this is origin x this is origin this is origin so mass the man is at origin and the center of mass of the plank is the center of mass of the plank is at the middle point that is l by 2 center of mass of the plank is l by 2 distance l by 2 okay so initial center of mass of the system man and system that is the man and the plank constitute the system so what is the center of mass of the system this is m into 0 plus here m into l by 2 divided by total mass m plus m equal to final final system suppose the man is at here what is the position we take the position from this line now this is this is total length l and this is x so this length is l minus x the total length is l this distance is l minus x because total length is l and this is x so this length is l minus x now center of mass suppose center of mass is at here if center of mass is it is at here suppose we take this is center of mass middle portion suppose Suppose we take center of mass is at here, is at here. Now, this distance is, this distance is L by 2 because L, uh, from end point the distance is L by 2. This distance is L by 2 and this is X. So, this distance is X minus L by 2. This distance is X minus L by 2. Okay. This is X. This is L by 2. L by 2 is center of, uh, this is L by 2. Total is this is x, this is l by 2. So this distance will be x minus l by 2. x minus l by 2. Now we get position of each mass. Now we can write center of mass of final position. Final position. So this is mass m and this is mass m capital M. So m into l minus x plus plus m into x minus l by 2. Now this is left side so left side we get uh, we assign minus sign because this is left we take the position from this line we take the position from this line divided by total mass m plus m now cancel from both side this this we get from this we get x so what is the value of x m into l by 2 equal to ml minus mx minus mx plus m so we can find the value of x from this equation this and this and x equal to m n by m plus m 
if the man moves with velocity v then what is the velocity of the plank v so to the plank if the man moves in this direction so the plank moves in the opposite direction velocity v so here we conserve the momentum if no external force this is here no external force is applied so we can uh, conserve the conservation of momentum so conservation of momentum is applied so initial initial total momentum initial total momentum of the system will be zero because mass and plank both are zero velocity of the both mass and plank are zero now final momentum m into v plus m into v so here v equal to minus mv by m this is the velocity of the plank so if the man moves with velocity b then the velocity of the plank will be this problem suppose this is a disc so this is a disc and here if the radius is r radius is r and here a r by 2 is r here r by 2 and here r by 2 2 part is removed from this disc 2 part is removed from the disc this is the disc 2 part is removed so this part is removed of radius r by 2 radius r by 2 this part mass of the disc is m radius is r 2 part is removed 2 part are removed from this position now find the center of mass of remaining part remaining part find center of mass of remaining part here two part from this and this are removed find the position of center of mass of the remaining part so first first find the mass of the removed part mass of removed part solution mass of removed part equal to what here mass per unit area then to this area m by 4 so here this mass is m by 4 suppose this is m2 m by 4 this is negative mass and here m3 equal to m by 4 both masses we take negative mass negative mass okay m2 and m3 both mass is negative now here we apply the center we we <coughs> Here two mass are removed from two different position. So we we apply the with respect to position vector that is that is R C O M equal to we apply M1 R1 divided by total mass M1 plus M2 plus M3. We apply this theory because here two part is removed from two different position. So we apply this theory. Apply this theory now. We take M2 and M3 as negative mass. Then total part, if this if this is negative, this is negative. Then and consider M1 equal to whole disk. Mass of whole disk. M1 equal to mass of whole disk. And if M2 and M3 is negative, then M1, M2, M3 makes the this part, makes this remove remaining part. If if you take m1 equal to mass of whole disk then m and and if we consider that m2 and m3 be negative then m1 m2 and m3 makes the remaining part makes the remaining part because positive and negative we consider this is whole disk first this is complete disk is present now if we if we negative mass that is negative mass is placed on this positive negative will produce the empty part empty part so here positive negative part the empty part so this will form a remaining part now apply this theory we get m1 what is m1 m1 is the m into r1 position of the r is whole position position vector of the center mass is the origin so this is 0 m into 0 m2 is minus m by 4 into what is the coordinate of this center of mass coordinate is this part is uh, this is total r and this is r by 2 so this part is r minus r by 2 that is r by 2 so m by 4 into r by 2 i i this is because 
vector is r by 2 r by 2 i this this distance is r by 2 this is r this is r by 2 so this distance is r by 2 r by 2 minus m by 4 into r by 2 similar way this part is this is r this is r by 2 so this part is r by 2 r by 2 j divided by total mass m minus m by 4 minus m by 4 this so this is the center mass of the remaining and this is the position vector of center mass this will be what into 2 minus r by 4 i plus j so this is the answer this is the answer okay this part is just negative then if you consider m1 is the mass of whole disk then this part negative part and this negative part and the whole disk complete disk from the remaining part because positive and negative will produce the empty uh, empty mass zero mass this is zero so if we constitute m1 m2 m3 you take m2 and m3 is negative m2 and m3 is negative m2 and m3 are negative then apply this theory we get the position of vector of the negative part position vector of the negative uh, position vector of the remaining part next question is suppose this is a wave shape body placed on a smooth ground smooth ground and here a block of mass m is present and this angle is theta this is position now when this is smooth plane this is smooth plane when this block slide along this smooth plane and comes at this position what is the displacement of this wedge this is the question if smooth uh, if if the block of mass m is at this position when the uh, block of mass m goes down at the bottom goes down at bottom of wedge then find find displacement of find displacement of wedge so what is this now this uh, this uh, what is the what is, what is this 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 height is given h is given h is given here m m h and theta are given given so find the displacement of the find the displacement of the wedge when this block goes down at the bottom of the wedge or reach at the ground. So what is the solution? Solution becomes so suppose when this is the shift this is h h is given theta is given first we find this length what is the base 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 is what cot theta equal to cot theta equal to base by base by h so b equal to h cot theta h cot theta suppose the block is at here the block is at here m and we take the center mass of the for convenience for convenience we take the center of mass of the wedge is at this position at this position for convenience so here the center of mass because if we take center of mass is, is at here this part always remain same this will shift this distance this distance is always same so for convenience for convenience of for convenience of calculation we take the center of mass of the wedge is at this position so this is center of mass of the wedge center of mass of the wedge is at here now if the displacement is here x now what is the distance distance is here b minus x b minus x now we apply center of mass of initial position center of mass of final position center of mass of the system that is both ma uh, both block and wedge this from the system we find the center of mass of the system at initial position so this becomes m into 0 plus m into 0 by total mass m plus m because that's initial m is at uh, m is at here so here position is 0 0 so x uh, movement x coordinate is 0 and y coordinate uh, we, we don't take here y coordinate the movement is along x direction so we consider the x coordinate so uh, x coordinate of this block is 0 and x coordinate of this wedge is 0 and what is the center of set final position so final position here m is present m into x plus here m into b minus x by total mass okay fine here 
this is minus x because this this is the origin uh, the, this line is the reference line this line is the reference line from this line we take the measurement now this is uh, along negative x-axis so uh, minus x plus m into this is positive b minus x m1 x1 by this this is center of mass at final position cent this is center mass of the whole system at final position now from this we can calculate the x okay from this we can calculate the x so mx equal to m into b minus x mb by m plus m so m into b b what is b b equal to h cot theta by m plus m so this is the answer okay this is the answer in a pulley two mass is suspended by a string which is passes over the pulley this mass is m1 m2 now what is the what is the acceleration of center of mass of the system if the mass is released m1 is suppose greater than m2 the whole system will accelerate this will accelerate in this direction this will in this direction what is the acceleration of the center mass of the system this is the next problem what is the center of mass what is the acceleration what is the acceleration of center mass of the whole system of the system so first find the magnitude of a m1 and m2 move with same acceleration but m1 moves downward m2 moves upward first we find what is the magnitude of the acceleration now we from newton's laws of motion m2 g t a we apply here t minus m2 g equal to m2 a this is the equation of motion now here for this m1 g t in this direction a so for this we get m1 g minus t equal to m1 a if we apply then we get t t cancel so m1 g if we tap apply then we get so a equal to so a equal to m1 minus m2 by into g so we get a equal to this a equal to this now what is the acceleration of center of mass acceleration of center of mass of the uh, this equal to m1 a1 plus m2 a2 by m1 plus m2 we take also vector form okay now m1 what is m1 m1 into acceleration of the is a but but this is along z direction suppose this is along this direction and we take this is we take this direction as j so a j plus m2 into a and this this direction is minus okay now now if we take if we take this direction is j cap if we take this direction is j cap now m1 uh, direction of uh, vector is minus j cap so we take uh, so if we m1 into a1 what is a1 a1 equal to a1 equal to vector minus j a into magnitude is a but vector we, we assign a vector divided by m1 plus m2 okay now um, take common a j this will be m2 minus m1 by m2 plus m1 m2 plus m1 now put here a we get this so so m2 uh, m2 minus m1 whole square by m1 plus m2 into j of g minus j so this denotes that the whole center mass moves with this direction this direction whose magnitude is this uh, acceleration equal to this this m1 plus m2 by m1 plus m2 whole square if you put this this into this or whole square so answer is this so answer becomes acceleration of center mass becomes m2 minus m1 by m1 plus m2 
होल स्क्वायर इनटू जे माइनस जे दिस इज द आंसर दिस इज द आंसर जस्ट जस्ट फर्स्ट फाइंड द मैग्नीट्यूड फ्रॉम न्यूटन लॉस ऑफ मोशन वी गेट द एक्सेलेशन ऑफ द होल ऑफ द टू ब्लॉक सेम एक्सेलेशन नाउ जस्ट अप्लाई दिस फार्मूला दिस फार्मूला वी गेट द वैल्यू ऑफ दिस ए रिवर suppose this is a river and boat is on the river now a man is on the one end of the boat one end of the boat and man moves towards the other end when he reaches at the other end of the boat what is the displacement of the boat what is the displacement of the boat so for solution we take this is the reference line this is the reference line this now suppose after when the man when the man reach at the at this end of the boat the so this is the point a here a b b now we have to we have to find the displacement of the boat find x x equal to what when the man reaches at this point the, uh, what is the displacement of here mass of the m mass of man and capital m mass of boat both are given m r given and length of the boat length l length of the boat are given here mass of man mass of boat and length of the boat are given so when the man reaches at this this end what is the displacement now here we apply center of mass of initial position equal to center of mass of final position so the important theory i have discussed to solve many problem we always we always use, use this theory so center of mass of initial position what initial position then if we take this is the reference line then m into 0 plus suppose center of mass of the boat is at the midpoint suppose uh, from this end this is at a distance l by 2 because l is the length of the boat at midpoint center of mass of the boat is located is located at the midpoint at the middle point at the middle point center of mass of the boat is located so m into l by 2 by m plus m and center of mass of the final position yeah, here man here man is at here so if the total distance is l and this is x so this will be this will be l uh, total length is l l minus x because this and this length is l L minus x, so m into L minus x plus, and uh, this is from L by two. Uh, this is L by two because center of mass from a end, center of mass is at the middle part. So from a is uh, the center of mass is at L by two. Now this distance is x. This is L by two. So this will be x minus L by two. But this is in negative side. So minus by total mass. This is in negative side. so here we always take the measurement from this reference line so if this is x this is l by 2 so this distance will be x minus l by 2 so this now cancel this and this we get x we get the value of x so m l by 2 equal to ml minus mx oh, into m into m minus uh, minus mx plus m into l by 2 L by two, this this cancel. So from this we get x equal to this. So this this is the shift of the boat. Student, this is the end of the class today. To get more important problems on the chapters center of mass and conservation of momentum, watch my another video. Okay, thank you.